What's up guys, it is Sam here from Market Movers and today I'm actually doing a video on an update of a previous video that I did before. So renting in Cork City. So when I made that video, it was towards the end of 2021. And now I was gonna do like a reflection of what has happened over the last year, what the current costs are after we've had this rapid inflation to do with rents and electricity and see what the actual costs are now of living there along with the average wage increase from the 28K that I used in 2021. So we can have a look at then how much people have saved, the average person at around 25 years of old, how much they can save every year, how much they can invest every year, how much they have left in total. And then we'll do a comparison of a percentage was if it's increased or decreased uh, your quality of life say by how much money you have by the end of the year and see what the actual change is so guys without further ado let's get straight into the video and i'll do the same sort of scenarios a four person sharing or a couple and also living in a bed set on your, your own so guys let's get straight into the video So guys, I'm gonna start this off by basically doing the four person sharing scenario and what the average kind of costs are from my own personal experience and also what you can kind of see on daft.ie from rent and that sort of thing. So we're gonna go, go through it and do the same kind of thing as the increase for fuel costs, you know, car costs, all that kind of stuff, and we're going to see how much you can roughly kind of save. Um, but this is obviously not accounting for unexpected costs like going to going to the doctor, car repairs, anything like that, because you can't account for every sort of scenario. But it's just going to give you just a rough idea, like of how much cash you will have left at the end of the year. And so, look, in 2022, there was an increase in Ireland of wages, around five percent. So there was a 5% increase in wages. So I've added that to the 28K that we started with in 2021 and brought it to uh, the new figure, which is 29,400 that we're gonna be subtracting all of this from. So to start us off, the rent, the average rent sharing in a room, say in a house roughly with four people is 575 euros a month now. Your electricity and gas, um, roughly between four people, you're talking about 36 euros a month. Uh, Wi-Fi hasn't really increased, so that's remaining at 15. Gyms have increased their prices, so that's now at 60. Your phone bill, depending on who you are with you, maybe with one of the low cost providers, but are averagely around 20 euros a month, which gives you total bills of 706 uh, before you get into food and stuff. So if you've got a car, your car will have a bills of fuel costs of around 200 per month and an insurance of around of 75 euros a month because it actually has come down a small bit uh, nothing major but a small bit of insurance has actually come down so that's at 75 euros a month Food has increased uh, quite a lot in the last year. So we were using 200, we're now gonna be using around 250 euros a month on food. Uh, subscription services, Netflix has increased slightly, Disney has increased slightly, but alternatives have just has remained the same because people do have multiple subscription services. So your total bills then that you are left with, uh, if you have a, a car, uh, between your rent, your car, your food, you're spending around 1,200 195 euros per month uh, before you get into your savings or free cash um, to do whatever you want to do with it. So then the total bills if you don't have a car but you're spending maybe 60 euros a month on a bus is 1155. Remaining income then with a car is 815 euros. Remaining income without a car is 955 euros. So if you're saving you're saving this money, saving 20%, which is generally the rule of your free cash. You'd be saving 163 euros a month if you have a car. You'd be saving 191 euros a month without a car. And if you invest 15%, you'll be investing 122 euros with a car, and you will be investing 143 euros and 25 cents without a car. So that leaves you with free cash for the month to spend on anything you want of 500 and 29.75 without a car 620 
and 75 cent. So the total that you've uh, say saved per year, um, you're gonna be saving around 1,956 euros uh, if you have a car and total that you have invested, bearing that you get a 10% return, obviously this is not guaranteed, you'd have 1,613, which leaves you with a total of 3,569 euros at the end of the year. So you compare this to 2021's figures that we did, you had 4,179 euros, which is a percentage decrease of 17% from the time that I did the last video. Um, so yeah, that's quite a lot. So if you don't have a car, you'll be saving 2,292. And if you invest the money, you'll be left at the total end of the year of 1,890 and 90 cent, which brings you a total of 4,182 and 90 cent, which is then a total of 4,930 compared to last, compared to 2021, you've decreased at 17.8%. So it's actually slightly worse if you uh, if you don't have a car, but not really, they're about the same. Uh, so yeah, look, there's quite a decrease in how much uh, cash you have just in the space of maybe 14 to 16 months. To months. So yeah, that's quite a lot. So now we'll get on to the bed sit scenario. So the bed sits averagely are now costing in Cork around 1200 euros a month. And there's not very many of them so they can really charge what they want. And it's, yeah, it's pretty expensive. So if you're gonna be spending all of this based on the increased electricity in the last year it was 82%. This is now affecting a 91 euros per month for a bed sit alone which is a very small area. You're paying the full Wi-Fi yourself, 45 euros, your gym, 60, phone bill, 20. So that brings your total bills to 1,416 euros. So obviously you're going through the car, 200 euros for fuel, 80, uh, 83 to 75 to 83 um, for insurance. Uh, your food is 250 euros a month, Netflix, 16, Disney, nine alternatives. 39 euros like that's all the same so your total bills if you have a car are 2013 bearing in mind that your total wage after tax is 2110 so it doesn't really leave much wiggle room so your total bills without a car if you've got in 60 euros on the bus are 1873 so your remaining income with a car you will have 97 euros left over. Um, if you don't have a car, you'll have 237 euros left over. So if you maintain the same policy of saving 20% and investing 15, you'll be in, you'll be saving 19 euros and 40 cent a month. Um, with a car, without a car, 47 euros and 40 uh, cent. So that, and then you'll be investing 14 euros and 55 cent with a car and you'll be investing 35 euros and 55 cents uh, without a car. Leaving you with a free free cash for the entire month of 63 euros per month to spend on whatever you want. Um, and your free cash, uh, if you don't have a car, it's 154 euros uh, to spend on whatever you want. So the total that you will have saved by the end of the year with a car is 232 euros. The total that you will have invested, if you get a 10% return, will be 192 euros. So you'll have a grand total at the end of the year, if you have a car, of 424 euros at the end of the year. Compare this to 2021, where a person would have 1,814 euros. This has a decrease of 77% from 2021. When I was even doing the research on this, I was a bit uh, taken back by that. Um, I know this is not entirely accurate, but a 77% decrease in how much you can save is um, pretty, pretty crazy. So if you don't have a car, the total that you will have saved is 568 euros. And the total weight that you'll have invested is 469 euros. So at the end of the year, after 12 months of work, you'll have 1,038 euros. 
Compare this to 2021, which is 2,577 euros. This is a decrease of 60% from what you had previously um, in the space of 14 months, which is uh, pretty bad. This is not really a feasible option for most people. Um, especially if you're on that income bracket, you, you just can't afford this. It would be very, very silly to do so. You'd have no quality of life. All of your work would be going to bills. Um, so this option is not really something that would appeal to most people. So look, we'll get on to the, the final scenario. So of a couple, and you're, you're still looking now at like a one beds, possibly two beds. The price has increased quite a lot. And now you're looking at an average of 875 uh, euros per person, because um, this is all done for one person only. So this is per person, 875 per person for rent. Uh, electricity is 91 each. This is based off my own personal stuff. So I live in a, in a, in a one bedroom and that's how much my electricity uh, now is. You're talking with 185 euros per month. Uh, Wi-Fi is 45, again, gym 60, phone bill uh, 20, and then so your total bills are 1,091. Fuel costs, again, 200, insurance 75, food 250, and your Netflix 16, Disney 9, alternative 39. Again, this is that that will all remain the same. So your total bills with a car, are now 1,680, uh, without a car, 1,480. Remaining income, uh, if you have a car, it's 430 euros. Remaining income without a car is 630. So every month you will be saving with a car is 86 euros. And without a car, you'll be saving 126 euros a month. Investing 15%, so with a car, 64 euros a month. Without a car, 94 euros a month. So your free cash that you have left without a car is 279.50 a month. Your free cash without a car, 409 euros 50 cent. So, so the total that you have saved uh, with a car by the end of the year is 1,032. Total invested, bearing a 10% return, is 851 euros, which then leaves you with a grand total at the end of the year of 1,883 euros and 40 cent. Compared to 2021, where you would have 3,241 euros, a percentage decrease of 42%, which is pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Um, so then without a car, you would have saved 1,512, invested the said amount at a 10% return, you'd have 1,247 and 40 cent, bringing to a grand total of 2,759 and 40 cent. This is compared to 2021, where you'd have 4,004 euro, giving a, dec a decrease of 31% in your living standard. Okay, so that's all of the scenarios and what to expect from now living in Cork and renting the different costs of it. If you're earning this range of salary between 25 to 30,000, this is what you can expect to, uh, to get. So the only realistic one you could really go for is sharing with an average of three to four people and then your decrease from a couple of years ago, for a year ago is only 17%, whereas now the other ones are completely nearly unaffordable, like down 77% if you have a car and you live in a bedsit. I know you wouldn't, you wouldn't even be saving this money. I know that that wouldn't be happening. Um, yeah, look, it's very difficult to really even think about that, how much it has increased and will decrease people's living standards. But uh, yeah, look, that's what we have. Um, I'm going to attach the spreadsheet uh, down below to what I've found. You can look into it and make your own comments or whatever um, on what the actual costs are and how it has changed from 2021 just based off my other video. I know there's a lot of stuff here that are not, say, talked about. 
but I can account for everyone's individual kind of uh, fees and all that kind of stuff. So look, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned a bit about what it's like to live in Cork and the fees that come with it. And yeah, look, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Do remember to like and subscribe to this video.